In this video, I will demonstrate how to draw geometry for marking, explain how to sequence operations, and explore the new 3D simulation feature. I've already started a part, so first I'll click open and navigate to it. With these parts, I'll be fastening the circle with text on top of the square. I want to mark an outline of the circle on the square, so I'll click the circle tool and then select Mark Element. Then, I'll draw a circle the same size as my other part and click the check mark to accept it. I can tell that this geometry will be marked by the dashed lines, as well as the shading inside of it indicating that there is no cutout. I also want to mark the text, but it's currently set to be cut. This can quickly be changed by selecting the geometry that makes up the text and switching it from cut element to mark element. Once again, notice the dashed lines and shaded interior. Now, I'll push the parts into the CAM module where the toolpaths will be generated. Initially, version 7 will handle each part separately, meaning that all of the marked features on one will be made, then the cutouts, and finally the perimeter of the part. Instead, I want to complete all the marking before I move on to all of the cutouts. This can be accomplished using the Sequence tool, so I'll click on it and change my Sequence mode from Part to Operation. No, I don't want to save this. With the Sequence tool, I'll click and drag from one operation to another in the order I want them executed. I'll continue doing this until I'm happy with the order. Once each cut and marking is sequenced how I like, I'll hit the green check mark to confirm. I can easily verify that each task will be completed in the right order using the new 3D simulation tool. When I click the tool, it opens on the right hand side of the screen. I'll run the simulation and watch to verify that the program follows the correct sequence. Everything is correct, so now I'll push the file into CNC. Once the G-code generates, my parts are ready to cut. You can see how easy it is to use plasma marking in version 7, as well as how helpful the sequence tool and new 3D simulation are in tailoring a program to cut the way you want it to. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any further questions, or visit us online at flashcutcnc.com.